Peek at It presents PK Hextricks. What is up, my friends? Today I'm gonna show you how to handle wonder cards in PK Hex. And first thing you gotta know is how to check your wonder cards in your game uh, on the title screen in Pokemon XY or Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire uh, on the title screen go to mystery gift and then go to check card album okay from this screen you can see all of your wonder cards so I have four on my game now since you're watching this tutorial I assume you've watched some of my beginners guides so you know how to use PK Hex a little bit I'm gonna show you in PK Hex once you're in there there's a wonder card button if you click that you'll see there's this there's two options here there's the wonder cards option with a slide down menu and it matches the 24 slots that I just showed you in game right here 24 Okay, and then there's something called a received list. Now, I'm going to explain what all this stuff means. I'm going to explain how to import Wonder Card files or .wc6 files. And I'm going to explain how to output WC6 files. Using WC6 files and the, you can also use QR codes. First thing you're, you need to know is that you have... Uh, these 24 slots now if you already have obtained some event Pokemon you might have something on this list like I have four events like you saw on my file so there's four here if you click this little right arrow key it's gonna possibly open up a dialogue like this and it's gonna say this wonder card is marked as used and you're not you're not able to pick it up in game so I've already used this wonder card in my game you can mark it as unused by clicking yes here and that means that you can retrieve it again in the game just like you would if you normally received the event so I'll click yes for now and then you, after that you'll be able to see the details of the wonder card uh, for this particular event so if you already picked up an event and you want to pick it up again you can highlight the one that you've received already click the right arrow like I just did and then if you save it and then save your file and then reload it onto your game using the methods in the previous guide using save manager or RAM to save then you can just go back into the Pokemon Center talk to the lady and she'll give it to you again if you're using PK hex that's probably not the method you're gonna be using so now I'm gonna talk about a couple methods that you'll probably be using if you're using PK hex there's a lot of people online that upload the WC6 files and what that is is a wonder card file so if somebody gives you one of these files or you have access to one you can use the import WC6 option and if you have a WC6 file on your computer just for example I have a uh, this Zor Zorark event uh, I don't know if you can see it uh, it's right here okay so I click that okay and that pulls it up and then whatever slot you want to load this Pokemon into once you have your WC6 file you just select the slot you want to enter it in so let's say I want to put it on slot 18 and I've already opened my WC6 file and then now click the left button see how it's moving the information from details over to here and click that now let's look at what happened here 18 now has the ID for that Pokemon so if I click save and then I load the file back onto my game when I go into the Pokemon Center there's gonna be the lady and she's gonna deliver the event Pokemon like a normal event I'm gonna show you guys in a little while how to pick up the wonder card event Pokemon in your game once you have added the wonder card files but I want to show you a quick little trick that's really cool. Um, PK Hex has this option to save Wonder Card Pokemon as a QR file. As you can see here, there's this QR option. I have uploaded a test file with a real Wonder Card event Pokemon if you guys want to test using it. 
It's at pokeedit.com slash ycard.png. And this is the trick. If you highlight the URL of the image of the, the PKX QR that you want to import, you can do that on this Pokemon by copy my URL. If you find a URL and it says card number, like right here, you can right click it. And the, if you're in Chrome, you can uh, select copy image URL or depending on your browser, you want to just copy the image URL. Okay. Once you have the image URL copied, you can hold the alt button on your keyboard and then left click on your mouse this QR button and that will take the URL of that QR code and load in all the wonder card data directly into this details option once you have that loaded in you can insert it into one of these empty slots so like just for example I copied that from Poketit and I click the left arrow button and I just load it into slot 5 another thing I want to point out that is important is uh, this thing called the received list. This list is a list of all the event Pokemon that you've received via Wonder Card. The Wonder Card list shows the Wonder Cards you have and it doesn't distinguish whether or not you've actually received them in the game or not. You can't tell just by looking at this list but this list on received list shows which ones you've actually picked up. If you've already picked them up in your game then even though you have the wonder card you're not going to be able to receive them so if you want to be able to receive them again you'd have you have to click them from this list and I know it's kinda it's not that self-explanatory because they're just numbers but if you want to check you can like click this and then click the right button and then look at the details of the Pokemon so you know that 0111 is this shiny Xerneas and then you could click X down here on the received list and delete it and then that means you haven't received it anymore so it'll allow the game will allow you to go and pick up the gift again and then remember after anything you do in here you always have to click save if you want any of this any of the saves to stick so save and then like I showed in the previous uh, PK hex tricks tutorials you'll need to click the save tab export your save and then whatever method you're using to load that onto your game whether it's RAM to save, save manager, or cyber saves then just load it on and then the wonder you can go into the Pokemon Center and pick up your wonder card event the other things I wanted to show you here uh, before I finish showing you these wonder card details are is the output uh, WC6 file and what this lets you do is if you have a real wonder card that you've picked up from an official event you're, you're gonna be able to see it on this wonder card list okay right here so all the events I have on this list are official so if you wanna check the details you just click this uh, right arrow and then click yes if you wanna mark it as uh, unused or not it doesn't matter what you click for that unless you wanna use the Pokemon again but then you can see the uh, details of the Pokemon and if you want to share this wonder card with your friends you can click the output WC6 button then you can save it as a dot WC6 file and then you can upload that to a forum somewhere or share it on Facebook or wherever you want with your friends the other thing you can do is you can click the QR code button or it's not even a button you just click the text here and that will generate a QR code like the method I showed you before if you save the URL of the QR you're able to directly load these so it's a pretty convenient way of sharing QR codes with your friends I think that's all the tricks for wonder cards management uh, there's going to be a link in the description on poke edit for some place to pick up legit wonder card files it might not have all the ones you want I'm sure there's a lot of places online that have more when Nekomon comes out we'll try to have a, a detailed comprehensive list of every wonder card on 6th gen so I'll definitely keep you guys informed of that I want to show you guys how this works though so I'm going to 
do a quick little guide here. I'm going to delete all my received from this list. Just so you can see that it works. So I'm going to delete everything. Okay. So I have no... Okay. Click delete him. I have no wonder cards now in my game. So I'm going to import uh, this Zoroark event. I'm going to insert it into slot 1. And I'm going to click save. Okay. And then, remember, you have to save, export save, and then overwrite your file. Okay. Now, just give me a second, and I'm going to load this onto my cartridge. So, Minori, speed up the uh, footage for a second while I do this. <laughs> Okay, and now you can see the nice young lady in the blue dress waiting for me to give me my gift. And there's my Zoroark event from the Wonder Card that I inserted to my game. And that, my friends, is how you use Wonder Cards. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the description below. Please make sure to thumbs this up if you liked it or hated it. I want two thumbs up because, you know, you gotta show your trolly hatred around the nets into Scape. Use, you're probably using Netscape if you didn't like this. But um, I tried to make this pretty, the most easy version of how to use Wonder Cards that I could think of. I know it's a little complicated. It's even actually a little complicated for me. But I think once you kind of know what all the options are on the wonder card list you know like uh what wonder card versus receive list and what's in your details and what the different buttons do i think this will kind of help you out when you're using wonder cards so i hope this worked for you uh if you like this i already said you know what to do but subscribe to my channel and i got more cool stuff coming uh, with some PK head hex tricks, PK hex tricks. I'm gonna bring you the best videos you can ever imagine. So keep fly, keep cool, keep watching. Stay in school or drop out of school. I don't give a damn. Just do whatever you think is right for you. Adios, amigos. Sayonara, salamander.